Guys, um, if you catch a spider out in the wild, do not pick it up with your hands, because they will bite. Unless it's a wolf spider, just be careful. Don't if it, just don't pick up any spider, especially black widows. Um, okay, how to make your enclosure for your spider? We have a spider in here. We named him Max. Right here, right there, right up in there, Look where my pooter is. Right over here in the corner. Went up. Right there. See him? Alrighty. Now our enclosure. Stage back. Our enclosure is made out of dirt, uh, toilet rolls, plastic cups, shells, and rocks. And that's basically all you need. It's just put the dirt on the bottom for like a centimeter of layer, unless you have like a burrowing spider. And take your toilet paper rolls, cut them till you like have like a little hut thing right here. And well, that's just like for stuff. And that's another hut, and that's another hut. He likes over here in the corner the most, but he's right over here, Maxi. I have never picked him up with my hands. Just letting you know, <laughs> he's fast too. And so that's about it. All right. And what do you do? You have anything, Cynic? Um, to put the spider in, all you need is something with Wait. um tall walls. It, even if even if they climb walls or not, still you need a, um, some high wall area place and a lot of heat because they love heat. And don't put too much dirt because then it'll make them get out easier. Yeah, you don't. And don't get want, too big of a rock. Just like the, these little pebbles that we have here. Yeah, you don't want anything to where it'll climb out. But if you have a top or something like yeah, that. Yeah, see, he only gets up to there and then he falls. This is just for a homemade cage. It doesn't matter if it's, well, it's not well there, we don't want to buy one because they're expensive. So, yeah, we just got this. My little brother's cage here. Let's go show it. My little brother's. Okay, my little brother has uh, a smaller spider than ours. It's a little bit smaller. He's probably under that leaf again. It's probably up in the corner. Not yet. Check under that one. Oh, he's right there. Mm -hmm. There he is. He's camouflaged. He is so camouflaged you can't see him. He's right in the corner, right? Get him out of there. Yeah, see? He's fast, too. He's under it. I don't want to lift it up. He's under that right there. Lift it up just a little bit. Here he is. There it goes. So under this one. Oh. Yeah, there he is. Hey, better view. He's not that big. He's I caught him. He was my spider, but then I caught a bigger one and I gave the smaller one to my little brother. His name is Spike. My little brother always calls him Max because he's used to mine. And then you have to have a little water ball too, yeah. just in case. Did that already evaporate? No. Okay. Yeah. I was about to say, what? <laughs> oh, and that white stuff is cotton. No, no, no. Yeah, it's cotton. It's a cotton ball. Alrighty, and that's basically it for now. Um, uh, just don't pick up the spider. Just either catch it with a jar and put a piece of paper under it, or get this thingy and you can like push it around. But don't don't kill it. I just made this with a straw and some tape. Just like, like this. If you want to move them to get them off, like if you want to get the water, just scoot them over and grab the water and go refill it. All right, and you can use water caps if you have a small spider. You can like, use gator caps. You can use even the bottom of cups. Oh, and you can also use a uh, just like. Um, just anything that's small that's enclosed, unless you want it to roam around your house or wherever. Just so it's, just so it doesn't get closed. My little, we we put books on top for the night and then we close the light off, but we leave like a little air hole. Well, we kind of keep the light on. Yeah, just, let's go show them. So okay. Ow! All right, we'll Ooh, books. Ow. We'll show you. Um. How to enclose it with night.
All right, so you just get a few books. You got a space book and uh, just a regular little chapter book. And leave a little uh, space for it to breathe and... Sorry, Max, we have to do this for you, too. No, like that was that. good right there. But you might want to keep the light on so he has a little light to get in there. Or you could just take a flashlight and tape it. And then he's, like, all in there. Okay. Yep, that's it for today. Um, Peace. Yep, peace. Okay. Where is Max?